Daniel Whitehead, a former Humberside Police Constable, faced a misconduct hearing last week after he was alleged to have posted grossly offensive and sexually explicit contents to his personal social media accounts. The hearing was held at the former Ghoul Magistrates Court last Monday, the 13th of February, where they heard that between September 2021 and March 2022, Whitehead repeatedly posted inappropriate, grossly offensive in nature and sexually explicit content to his personal social media profile that identified him as a police officer and was publicly accessible. It's been said that his behaviour was flagged multiple times already by his supervisors and he was told to stop posting that kind of material, but he simply ignored them despite being aware it was a breach of professional standards. Not only did Whitehead, who was at the time in public office, fall short on his behaviour online, in or around September or October 2022, Whitehead was on duty and without invitation or warning disclosed personal information about himself to colleagues and showed them a photo of a naked man on his phone. I'm beginning to think that the police, like young children, simply can't be trusted with a mobile phone. The misconduct panel did find the allegations amounted to gross misconduct and decided that Whitehead would have been dismissed had he not already resigned. He has now been placed on the College of Policing's cretin list. Head of Professional Standards, Superintendent Andy Maltby said, as police officers, we must conduct ourselves with professionalism and integrity at all times. We serve the public and it is imperative they feel we are trustworthy and that we will always act appropriately and sensitively should they ever be in a time of need. Serve the public. Maybe you should remind officers of that fact as I'm hearing more and more police saying they serve the Crown or the King. That's a big fucking difference. Whitehead showed a complete disregard for both the public and his colleagues choosing to continue to conduct himself in a manner that fell far below the high standards we expect of a police officer. We will not condone or accept anyone who fails in their duty as a police constable as the public need to have confidence in their police force and we will not let anyone undermine that. The problem is, whether you're Humberside, Lincolnshire, Devon and Cornwall or the Metropolitan Police, you all continually let your staff undermine the confidence uh, the public have in the police. Granted, it can be a difficult job, but failure or to properly vet or psychologically evaluate those who join has caused issue after issue, which hasn't undermined the confidence that we have in the police. It's completely destroyed it, and it's going to take much more than some words from a PR department and a bit of cannon fodder to repair that damage. If it's repairable at all, that is.